Hi, everyone, and welcome to No Kill on Cage. We ask one question around the panel really quick. Um, today's question, <clears throat> what was your aha moment that made you a no-kill advocate? Alan, I'm going to start with you. It happened when I left the second shelter I volunteered at. First one I was banned at. Second one I was unofficially banned at. Um, at that moment, I realized I could do a lot more um I can help more animals by advocating for changing the system than trying to save individual animals. Uh, Aubrey, what made you a no-kill advocate? I was on the website for Huntsville Animal Services one day watching a video about what the shelter was about, and it began to show footage of a beagle being taken from his kennel to a room, and I quickly, re quickly realized what they were doing is they were filming the beginning of a dog that was going to be destroyed, and I reached out to the shelter director the next day to express my outrage and to ask if the dog in the video really did die. And her response was, nobody wants beagles these days. Five words, forever ingrained on my brain. And after that point, I just decided that I, I had to do something. I couldn't just do nothing. So I became an advocate and I advocate for systemic reform. Shirley, what made you a no-kill advocate? Uh, reading Nathan Winograd's explanation of uh, the myth of overpopulation, the idea that there are too many animals and not enough homes, once he laid it out in math, and you know they say math is the purest science, uh, once you look at the math, uh, it's, it's irrefutable. And I just thought, if that is not true, and we've been lied to all these years, then I am for no kill. I, I have to say, unfortunately, I'm going to ditto Shirley. And it was exactly that. It was I because I didn't believe redemption when I read it. I didn't believe that overpopulation was a myth. And when I did the research, that was the moment for me. That was my aha moment. Thank you for joining us, everybody. This is No Kill Uncaged. I'm David Smith from No Kill Colorado here with Shirley Marsh from Yes Biscuit, Aubrey Cavanaugh from No Kill Huntsville, Alan Rosenberg from the New Jersey Animal Observer. We'll see you next time.